Hey there, and welcome to Frankie's DIY and More. Today I've got a couple of little small projects I want to uh, get rid of. Uh, they've just been cluttering up my room, and I want to get to them and then move on to something else. So stick with me and let me show you what I'm going to do. First, what I got here is this clock, and then it's a pretty clock, and it was good for a long time, but uh, it's just stopped working. I've replaced the batteries in it several times. It just keeps losing time, and so uh, I'm ready to move on give it to a new life for something else so what I'm gonna do is take off all these screws on the back and I've done took off most of them and I've lost my screwdriver so I'm fixing to take the rest of them off and I'm fixing to show you what I'm fixing to do it's gonna be really simple and it'll get it out of my way all right I've got the screws removed well I thought I did anyway if I got one more in there anyway take this piece of glass out get that back over all right now so what I'm fixing to do is take this uh, take this apart take the guts out I guess you'd say and I don't need this I'm gonna have to get this off well I'm gonna have to get my little screwdriver be right back okay I'm gonna pull this off. Pull this out. Listen, take that off because it don't work anymore. Toss that aside. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back in because it's not gonna matter. This piece right here is what I'm gonna go by because it'll sit right down in there. So, get you like a, either a family picture or a uh, get you Santa Claus and put him in there for Christmas or a uh, piece of paper that you like or, you know, just whatever works for you. I've got a couple that I printed off and then once I cut it out and then put the, put the uh, glass back on, it'll make for a pretty picture. Now, I will probably go ahead and paint this white, but not now, not today. But it'd be easy just to take this off and stick another picture in. So it's... I guess you'd say changeable uh, and that would be just great I mean that's pretty within itself but uh, like I said I'm gonna paint that white I'll paint this white and it'll it'll give it a whole nother look but anyway then you just pop your um, you just put it back together really I don't know what I did with the other piece now oh there it is so then you just put it back together and you've got your nice Got a nice little, um, uh, well, it's lit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, if you put it back together, I'm just trying to show you what I'm going to do and uh, to get it out of my room. So that's the first thing. Second thing is this right here. Now, I like these little pants, but um, they're, they're, they're in between, you know, your ankle. And so you don't know if they're high waters or what but I mean they're cute but anyway you can roll this up right here and then really make them short and of course I guess that's what that's for anyway because it's got the little cutout right here but what I'm gonna do is this bought this at Walmart I think it was like a dollar ninety seven and I'm fixing to put I'm fixing to put it on here and I'm fixing to stick it up just a little bit higher so that when it's down, it'll be looking like that. So I'll have a little bit of pizzazz when I'm wearing them down, and then it'll be like this while I'm wearing them up. And I think that'll be a cute little accessory to that. So that's another one. Third, today I've got this pillow. When all of my stuff in the house was, uh, you know, like a red theme, I, I love this pillow because it's really soft and it's good on your neck when you're on the couch, but... I found this old skirt at one of the thrift stores and I'm not much on skirts but what I did is I liked it because it had this right here on it and I thought that was really cute it's got a liner in there and I'll just cut that out but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make me a um, cover my couch is brown and it's got this little lacy part on here I'm gonna run me a stitch right up through the middle so this will be the top part of my pillow. And when I'm done, you know, it'll look like that. And if I get time today, what I'm gonna do is this dress right here. Now, 
I love these dresses. They're really comfortable owning everything. But like I said, these arms are just not what they used to be. So I want some sleeves. And I think what I'm going to do is just cut these sleeves out of here and just add them to my shirt. So these are some of the little small projects I'm going to do today. It's going to be really simple, just a straight stitch across for those two. And then, like I said, on that picture, that clock, I may paint it later. I mean, I can take it back apart. It's no big deal. But anyway, I may not paint it today, but you get the gist of how to uh, reuse an old clock. So let me get started. I think I got enough of this right here. I think I'll just add me some to my sleeve right there. And zigzag that on. Well, let's see. I'm going to just get that under there. I went ahead and sewed it together where it's just one long little loop. So, let me get it under there. Take this off. Put this on. I'll go around. Go around it. Now. Start with under the arm seam, and then I'll just match this up with the underarm seam. Use this little white gauge as my, this line as my gauge, and let's fix my needle. There we go. Okay, now I'll just start sewing around. <laughs> Alright, so what I've done, I've just stuck it in here, and then I'm fixing to pin it, and I'll pin it all the way around, and then I'll just go through this um, seam that's already on this and as my guideline, and I will use that. And then I will put this one on this arm, start at the uh, underarm, got some strings to clip, start at the underarm, right here. Pin it, pin it at the top, and this is forgiven, you know, because it'll stretch, and so I'll just sew that around. I went ahead and took them to my surgeon machine and just surged around them that way, and I did it in white so you could see it. Okay, so since I pinned it on the underside, I want to use this seam right here, I don't know if you can see it, this seam right here to go by. So I've got it pinned, I've turned it back right side out and then I'm just going to slide it the sleeve I was rolling up slide the sleeve over there and the, the sleeve well the sl sleeveless sleeve rather of this piece and I'm going to start at the underarm and just go all the way around it would help if I move this pin out of the way first okay I'm going to go all the way around use this as my guide and I change my thread to black. This way I can see. So now that I got that white under there, I can see that as my guide. Okay, I've got my sleeves on and I was gonna take some of that t-shirt material and make me some pockets, but <laughs> I forgot I already had some pockets. So that's a good thing. But anyway, I've got it on and now you don't get to see those creepy arms, see? I got my, I just followed that seam all the way around, added the little lace to it, and it was a uh, real quick and simple. And like I said, if you don't have a serger, don't worry about it. I just did it so, number one, I could see the seam to follow it around and it wouldn't roll up, but you don't have to have a serger, just, you know, stitch it around there. What I'm fixing to do is just cut that off even to start with. I'm just going to get a quick even cut right there. And I am not going to fold it over. I'm not going to serge it because it's, this is not going to unravel, okay? So, let's see. So, I'm fixing it up. Run it right on the edge, pretty much right there, and let that be my guide, this little one in the middle. And then it'll have just a little length to it if I want to wear them down. And if I want to wear them up to make them a little bit shorter, which would look cute with some sandals, it'll be looking like this. So I'm fixing to do that on both of them. 
and we'll get right back with you. Okay, on second thought, I think I'm going to reverse it. Instead of putting it on the outside going all the way around, I'm going to put it on the inside of my pants going all the way around. And then it'll have just a little peekaboo like that right there with them down. And then if I want to roll them up, I'll have the whole thing. So just a little slight change there, but nevertheless, it's still, still going to be cute. Let me get all the way around and I'll get back with you. Okay, so here's the one that is just down and you got that little peekaboo look to it. There's the side. I think you can see it in there. Not sure. Let me go back. There you go. And then here's the other one. Not crazy about it. It's uh a little too roughly. Anyway, these are stretch jeans, and when I stretch, they sort of want to, not crazy about this side, but this, I like. You get, you get like a little picky boo through there. So, anyway, it's just cute. All right, so my last little project I want to do today, and so I can get this stuff out of my room, is make a little pillowcase or a pillow cover for this right here. And all I'm going to do is just Cut the other half off. Uh, I think it's as long as the pillow. Now, I'm not measuring anything. I'm just eyeballing it. And it's better to cut a little too big than not enough. So if I cut it and it's loose, I'll just uh, tighten that seam up some by sewing it up a little more. So I think I'm just, I'm going to, I think it's at 25. I'm just going to fold it over, line it up. And I'm going to say it's about, I'm going to cut right about here. Well, and there we go. My cut is done. I'm going to take it to the machine, turn it inside out, and then I'm fixing to, well, I'll tell you what I'm fixing to do first. I'm fixing to sew this side first. I'm just going to go to my machine and sew right down the edge of that. All right, so I sewed all the way down. And then when you turn it back out, I think that's going to be really pretty on that pillow. So now what I'm fixing to do is just give it a little um, press, number one. Number two, I'm fixing to uh, um, go ahead and close it up right about here. I don't know if you see that. And then to right about here. And I'm going to leave an opening right down at the bottom so I can put my pillow in. And then I'll hand stitch the rest of it. I ran that through the serger just so it would uh, stop all that fraying and stuff. And it'd be easy for me to whip up after I get the uh, pillow in here. So I'm going to turn it inside out. And then I'm going to try to stuff this pillow in there. Now, you know, if anybody's ever done this before, you know you got to work with it. So... So I'll turn the camera off while I'm trying to get it on. But if you want to hear something funny, I couldn't figure out what was wrong with me a while ago. Why I couldn't get this sewing machine work short. Ugh, I can't even talk. Sewing machine working. And I was sitting there and I'm thinking, what is wrong? Well, I forgot to pull those high heel shoes off after showing you those. <laughs> after you after showing you those pants but anyway i got tickled about that i had to shuck my shoes off my high heels can you imagine high heel sewing all right so i've got it on i've got it in there and what i'm doing is just giving it a little whip stitch you just pretty much like embroidering stick it through there come back make the loop stick it through there there come back and make the loop so, I don't know if you can see that it, with brown thread. I don't know if you can even see that at all. But, anyway, it's real simple. Just run your needle through there. Come up a little. Go back. Up and under. And a whip stitch. And, um, that's all there is to it. That's my projects for today. Let me, I'll finish this in just a second. Um, so here it is. Let me there we go. 
excuse my mess on the floor. I'm still keeping my uh, sewing machine box and my receipt just in case. But so far, so good. It really sews great, and I love it. Uh, today, we just done a few little whatnot things and uh, that was piling up in my room and I wanted to get rid of. And so um, I've done those little projects, and now I can uh, move on to something else. Uh, it sort of cluttered up my my studio. Today we just did a, uh, a remake of uh, a pillow cover, uh, putting some sleeves in here. Well, I appreciate you stopping by and visiting with me today uh, at Frankie's DIY and More. Of course, I'm Frankie, and we've done a little bit more. Um, in my pillowcase that I did, it was from an old skirt. I think that turned out right good. My sleeves in my shirt. That helped me out. Put a little lace on there. Still got my pants on, but I did take those shoes off. Uh, it was pretty funny. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't sew. I still had those high heels on. But anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for uh, your views, your likes, your subscriptions. And if you're uh, uh, new to my channel, thank you for watching. If uh, you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and, and I appreciate it. Until next time, thanks for watching.